What's up YouTube? Here's a video on how to test your kill switch on your Yamaha FZ6. This is a 2007. I've got the... Well first I got the uh, battery removed, battery tray removed after I removed the air box. There's a little bracket um, held to the frame here with two bolts that hold the harness that goes through the frame to your kill switch and I got some wood holding the tank up um, so I've got the voltmeter set to measure ohms and it's at the lowest setting and the factory manual uh, I'll try to add a picture of shows that the red white and red black wire in the harness correspond to the kill switch being on, which is what it's set at right now. Let me hold the phone with my neck. Oh, shoot. Just put the phone down. And the harness here. Got the lead in the black red and the red white. Switch is on and it's showing one for resistance. Watch when I press down on the kill switch, the level of resistance changes. Um, I was able to get it to 2.5, like really low, which would mean the circuit is connected and there is a connection, therefore the bike should start. But watch when I let go. My pinky that's holding the camera is also holding the kill switch down. I keep the kill switch in the on position and I let go. I release pressure from the button. And the ohms go pretty high. Um, which is why I think my bike is turning off while I'm riding. Again, this is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm pressing the... I'm going to let go of the harness. I'm pressing this down, just doing this, and that's making the that's making the reading change. So I think that means I have a faulty kill switch. Um, so I think I'm going to slice this open and bypass the switch by fusing the red black and black red wire, uh, just for temporary. Then I guess I can replace this whole thing for $80 at some point.